Welcome to my attic. Up here you'll see that I have a Max Air 6.5 peak HP 16 gallons heavy duty wet dry vac. It's got a standard two and a half inch hose that comes out here. It's got a port on the bottom that you can drain water out of if you ever filled it up with water. These moldings on the side are where it used to have wheels. I took the wheels off. I dragged this around the house for a couple of months while I was sanding all the floors. Had this connected to a heavy duty sander through a dust collector. I got the 16 gallon one because I wanted to have the largest possible bag inside as a filter. This has been pretty efficient. The filter bag has not filled up with dust because most of the dust is intercepted by a dust deputy cyclone which you'll see down below in a minute. The vacuum cleaner came with a really long cord. That cord runs over here to a cheap Christmas tree light remote control and it's plugged into a 20 amp circuit that also powers the overhead light that is lighting up the situation right now. I'm going to shut off that light and we're going to go down the stairs and see what it's connected to in the shop. Coming down the stairs from the attic here, right next to it, I have a dust deputy cyclone which is connected to the lid of a two and a half gallon bucket. This was a car wash kit that I bought at Walmart. The car wash kit was cheaper than just buying a two and a half gallon bucket by itself. Just to show a little overkill here, you can see that I have the dust deputy bolted to that lid with quarter 20 bolts and washers and lock nuts because we sure wouldn't want that to fall off. This actually never gets moved around very much, so there's not much danger of it falling off. The end of the hose coming down from the vacuum cleaner. This is just a friction fit here. I just sliced the end of the hose off and jammed it over the end of the dust deputy. You can also see where I have adapted the inlet of the dust deputy to go to a standard two and a quarter inch heavy duty polyurethane hose. The hose end that the hose was supplied with didn't quite fit the dust deputy so I used a 3D printer to make this collar to make that match up. I could jam that on there and wrap tape around it and that would work just fine as well. These are some hooks that I found in the junk bin. I think they were intended for hanging a bicycle from the ceiling. I just used those to kind of keep the hose organized and up out of the way. So here in my shop I have a place for everything. I have these three rigid random orbit sanders in little cubbies. You can see it I marked one coarse, one medium, and one fine. I keep those set up with sandpaper at all times. I also have a supply of sandpaper in this little organizer. Uh, this is a simple enough deal to work up. To. Like I said, I've got a place for everything, but mostly I have everything spread all over the place. Previously, I had this separator and the hose and the vacuum cleaner all on a rolling cart that I would pull around the shop and I was constantly tripping over the hose or tripping over the cord. And so getting it up on the ceiling has really made a difference. In for sanding, the vacuum cleaner provides high velocity vacuum air. And I like having the hose up on the ceiling out of the way, along with this pull-down cord that allows me to have the vacuum cleaner source and electric power to the sander all coming from the same place. As it came from the factory, this random orbit rigid sander had a bell fitting on the end of the dust port that would fit into a collector bag. I never found the collector bag worked worth a darn. I said I cut the bell off and I just did that on the bandsaw. This whole part comes off and I just zipped the bell part off on the bandsaw and then I sanded it a little bit so it would smoothly fit onto the vacuum cleaner fitting and that gives me a real tight fitting and real airproof and this really sucks up the dust um, and if you vacuum, if you keep the vacuum running while you're sanding with these the sandpaper lasts a remarkably long time. This is the remote control unit itself I got this I think at Walmart. It's a I think it's a Woods Wire brand. I added this little ribbon onto it, had my wife sew it up here so that I can hang this up easily out of the way when I'm not using it. I painted the buttons red and green for on and off. So I push green and you can see that the vacuum turns on upstairs and red for off to shut it off. That's about it for this video. The point of the video was that I've got the vacuum cleaner up on the ceiling which gets it up out of the way. I no longer have the vacuum cleaner and the dust separator on a cart that I am constantly tripping over. This vacuum hose is long enough to reach 
most areas of the shop. I think it's about 15 feet long, but I don't remember for sure. I've modified the sanders to fit the vacuum cleaner hose. I've got the remote control, which allows me to keep control of the vacuum right here. at. So if you like it, great. If you want to make a comment, that's great too. If you think I'm a terrible videographer, I really don't care, but tell me if you want. If you have some good advice on how to make videos better, that's fine. I'll listen to it, but uh, I'm really just kind of doing this for myself. I'm going to try to upload a video every once or twice a week. Uh, as I put this shop together, I'm going to try to keep the videos short.